The BMW M240i not making it to the finalist round of performance vehicle of the year, spoiler alert. Is what happens when you have too much of a good thing. Not only was this year's putty field unusually stacked, but the six-cylinder 2 Series is also squeezed even within its own lineup by the four-cylinder 230i, which left our car of the year judges smitten, and by the upcoming M2, which is shaping up to be an absolutely monumental performance car. On paper, the M240i presents as the maximal 2 Series coupe available today, again, until the new M2 arrives, with a 382 horsepower turbocharged inline 6 effectively shared with the Z4 and Toyota Supra, rear biased X drive all wheel drive, and a sprinkling of M performance goodies, such as beefier brakes and a sportier suspension tune, that are optional on the 230i. The 3.0 liter i6 cooks the M240i to 60 miles per hour in only 4.0 seconds, and 19 inch summer performance tires help the coupe stick to the skid pad for 0.98 grams and stop from 60 miles per hour in 103 feet. Yes, it's quicker, grippier, and stoppier than the M Sport package equipped 230i we recently tested. It also feels a whole lot heavier. At 3,876 pounds, it is a lot heavier. 332 pounds heavier, thanks to its standard X-Drive all-wheel drive, though a rear-drive model arrives for 2023. The 230i is available in lighter, perkier rear-drive form. Therefore, around the track, the six-cylinder 2 Series feels softer, with fluid but ultimately rather doughy responses to steering inputs. Judged against the putty criteria and not our own experiences with the other two 2 Series, the 230i and a 2023 M2 prototype, the M240i can lean hard on its value, it starts at an entirely reasonable $50,895, and performance of intended function. This isn't supposed to be a hardcore track animal, that's the M2's job. It's a swift, comfortable, and fun daily driver, and in our new criterion of driver confidence and engagement, the M240i held its own, mostly thanks to a loose setup that made it, almost too, easy to kick the tail out and slide through corners. Several judges love the X-Drive system's propensity for sending engine torque to the rear axle, with technical director Frank Marcus noting how it makes the BMW feel properly rear-wheel drive, even if it wasn't the quickest or cleanest way around the track. The forgiving suspension's well-sorted damping reminded several judges of BMWs of yore, with Mexico editor Miguel Cortina lamenting that every BMW suspension should behave this way. Other recent BMW bugaboos have been addressed, as well with steering that isn't needlessly heavy, even in the Sport and Sport Plus drive modes.